and together with the voltage source inverter. But yes, if you are going to go for a DC motor, then in that case, it will not be a voltage source inverter, rather it will be a DC to DC converter. So this is about the traction system. Then uh, another subsystem is a supply system. So supply subsystem is, is in this, you can have different type, different energy sources. You can have onboard batteries, then you can have uh, uh, PV panels, just a moment. You can have a, a, a PV panel, then you can have fuel cell, fuel cell, all these are the different uh, sources of energy possible for us. So these are the energy sources. Now, then there is also possibility that you can use this power sources and which could be our ultra capacitor, ultra capacitor bank or flywheel arrangement. These things can be there. So our supply system can have only the energy sources or the combination of the energy sources with these power sources. Uh, power sources. So, thing is that what exactly is energy source? So, just from the capability point of view, we can say that energy sources are those which are having the capability of delivering nominal current for the longer duration of time. So, it decides that how long we can run our vehicle. Then power sources are there, what they have the capability of delivering very high current for a very short duration of time. So it means that they can meet the requirement of the acceleration. So during the acceleration, generally you'll see that we draw almost two times higher current from the source. So at that time, these uh, power sources can deliver that much of high current, but that for only for a short duration of time. So these are good for the transients, like you can support the acceleration. So if you do so, we extend the life of the energy source also. And then during the regeneration, we mostly recover the energy to these power sources. You can definitely submit back to the energy sources, but there are other issues with associated with that. So a part of the energy is submitted to the energy source. But like if you are using fuel cell and photovoltaic panel, submission of energy to the energy source is not possible. So what happens? Another issue is that these traction motors are designed for higher terminal voltage. But on the other hand, if you see that these uh, energy sources which are there, they are having the lower terminal voltage, but, but they are capable of uh, supporting, uh, feeding energy to the, providing sufficient energy to the uh, traction motors. So there is a mismatch between the uh, level of the voltage of these sources with respect to this traction, uh, tra traction motor. So here is the energy. So what happens that we either connect these sources in series or we use some uh, boost converter arrangement to meet the higher voltage requirement of the DC bus. High voltage right here and this is low voltage. So for that purpose, we need to use this power electronics arrangement. In some cases, uh, like in another case, like when you will be using the combination of these two energy sources and power sources. So at that time for proper energy flow management, we, we have to use this power electronic sources. Okay. So this is about that. Now next is uh, we have uh, now, uh, then another subsystem is control and monitoring system. From the name itself, it is apparent that it takes care of coordinated control of whole of the system to meet our required reference. It will be speed, torque, whatever it is. So, of course, for this purpose, it uses different sensors which are at the supply system with, or with the traction system. Then uh, th uh, then another subsystem which is generally considered as off-board system. So whatever we have seen here, these are on-board system with the vehicle. But this part is generally considered as a system off-board system which is required for the electric vehicles and that is charging infrastructure because you are having on-board batteries. So what happens that when you run your vehicle, you lose your charge. So after that, you need to recharge the vehicle. So for that purpose, we have to use some chargers. So there are different types of chargers. You will see those things. So maybe you will be receiving energy from the grid itself, or you will be receiving energy from the PV fed charging station or fuel cell fed charging station. So there are, again, sources could be different. But one thing is definitely common. Like when we will be talking about the charging station, so whatever the energy management is there, and our, our strategy is there for the onboard system. Similar sort of arrangement is also required for the charging station arrangement. So later on, I will show those things. So this is all about the 
uh, subsystem 